everybody. ABC Action News is now in its sixth year of our Taking Action Against Domestic Violence campaign, where the goal is to raise community where awareness and also to help support our local domestic violence centers. We told employees that CASA's executive director would be here on April the 1st today and take a look at all of the items that have been donated. We are surrounded by things. We said do a little spring cleaning for a good cause, Linda, and these are some of the things that they brought in. I've also got a stack next to the studio because I couldn't make it look pretty pretty. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, there are always different ways that you can help the domestic violence centers, and we find that donating clothes and mm -hmm. shoes and purses mm -hmm. really goes a long way. Um, oh, well. So what, what do you say to viewers in terms of the capital campaign? How are your efforts coming along in terms of raising the money to build the yeah. new shelter? Well, you know, we turned away 1,400 people in the last three years mm -hmm. each year. So our board just said, no, that's not okay. So we started a capital campaign. We have to raise $12 million. Um, that's a lot of money, but our doors have to be open by July 2015. That's just, just over a year away. So we've got a long way to go in a short time. But that's going to be exciting because we'll be able to ha have 100 new beds. Mm -hmm. We only have 30 right now. Right. We'll be able to serve all kinds of people that we haven't served now. We'll be able to better serve immigrant women, trafficked women, um, some men. Right. So we'll be able to really do a much better job. We're very excited. Give, give the community a sense of how the items that are donated to mm -hmm. the thrift store that's mm -hmm. run by CASA, how right. that helps the bottom line, help pay for things at the shelter, for example. Well, those two things. You know, all the women who come to us from the shelter in particular get to take what they need um, for themselves um, for free, of course. We, they get a gift certificate and they have a shopping experience, you know, instead of having to go through bags and boxes. So that's one thing it does. And the second thing it does is we sell these items to ourselves and mm -hmm. to the community. And um, last year, we were projected this year to make almost $300,000. That's like a significant grant that goes right back into our program mm -hmm. and helps, the, helps people who work in our shelter and who live in our shelter to feed them, to clothe them, to make sure that they've got insurance and, the and all basics, the yeah. basic electricity, all those basic things. Now, Wendy, Ryan, and I are getting ready for the luncheon on mm -hmm. April the 18th, mm -hmm. the A Good Night's Sleep Luncheon. Mm -hmm. When we say that, people ask, why is it called that? Can you explain that to our viewers? Well, you know, one of the things that happens for a domestic violence victim is often they're woken up during the night, kept up almost all night, um, being screamed at, being hurt, being hit, mm -hmm. um, being afraid. Um, sometimes because he doesn't come home at night, they're awake all night. You know, all those things so and and many times when they come to the shelter they say you know this is the first good night's sleep we've had in years mm -hmm. the children say that the women say that and so that's what we why we decided we would have call that our lunch now the first year we brought a whole bed and, um, <laughs> and we decided we wouldn't do that again because it was a little bit too, too much, much trouble <laughs> to move it up to the second story in the in the yacht club but right. but um, it, you know it really is a symbol of what we do for the women and children and the men that we serve is to give them a good night, a sense of peace, a sense of home, a sense of harmony that they haven't sen felt in a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for everything that you do in our community. We love the Casa family as we do all the other domestic violence centers. Winnie and I are looking forward to the lunch. Oh, it is on you. April the 18th. It's on a Friday afternoon right. at the St. Pete Yacht Club. If you would like more information, you can visit them online at casa-stpete.org, also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we will be back with more pictures on Facebook of all this great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody.